Hello everyone, I am the Bobcat Gamer, back for part 12 of this very annoying project. No, I'm just kidding. But it is starting to get a little, I'll admit it is starting to get a little annoying since I've been working on this for so long and we're on video 12. Um, so I guess I gotta show you what I've been doing for the last week. Um, but before we get to that, I just wanted you to know that my friend Kyle came by on this server and he decided to troll my sign. So these two right here in the center I wrote and then he put this is the amazing hi from YouTube from Molecule, that's his gamer tag name. And then he also said hi to me. Uh so um I guess this video goes out for him for successfully trolling my um site, so thank you Kyle very much for that. Anyway, this server was offline for all week long, ever since Monday last week. So I was getting really nervous that I wasn't going to be able to work on this until um, at all, until the server came on next, and I didn't know if it'd be up by Monday. Thankfully, it is. So we'll get to it. So here's the archway, the big archway at the end of the center ruins. And this is supposed to be the jewel. I just used um, this is orange wool, and then we around the inside frame of the archway is cobblestone, and then and then around here is stone bricks. I was thinking about uh, swapping those, but I actually didn't mind this one. This is um, carved stone. I had to create that on creative. And speaking of creative, this. This uh, archway took me a long time to get it the way that I liked it, and I started building it up on survival mode, but I just lost so much patience that I actually just skinned it properly on creative, so yeah. I don't do everything on survival, but majority of stuff. I still farm for the uh, sand on the inside and all that, because I like killing that kind of time. And then the columns, which didn't come out as good as I hoped they were. Like, I was expecting to surround it with, like, the stairs at the bottom to get the curving and at the top too but it was just it, it just took up too much room just didn't work out and then these randomly placed uh, sandstone 2x4s are just supposed to be uh, stone slabs on the top not all of them had them in the uh, in the dungeon so yeah that's all that I've been working on today farming for sand uh, oh yeah, I guess I should tell you that yeah, I chose the smooth sandstone for the the columns because I knew that that would be better and then uh, carved sandstone or etched sandstone whatever it's called. I can't remember um, Yeah, that's all I've been doing this week not a lot to say But I can say that we are very close to completion. I believe the outside ruins is done the only other thing that I could think of doing is covering it all with sand so that it looks like it's in the middle of a desert, like it's survived through thousands of that sandstorms. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I might, but I just wanna get the main frickin' structure done. The next thing I'm probably gonna be doing right here is something that I thought I was going to do day one when I first made it, and that's the stairways. Um, the ceilings are supposed to have some cool design, the walls are supposed to have something, not just this. So I'm going to get that done. Hopefully that will be for next week. And then the week after, I'm going to be working on the inside room finally. This I finished in, I believe it was week four. And now I'm only coming back to it on about week 14, ten weeks later to do this. It's pretty incredible that I held it off for that long. Yeah, so, hopefully we'll get that done pretty quickly, because I want this thing done and out of the way, and my computer's lagging so I can't let it go. <sighs> it was... It's a good project that I've been working on for the last little while. I got nothing else to say. Nothing else to talk to you about. Nothing at all. Um, well, I'll just jump back. Um, so I guess I this is where I sign off. So as always, I am the Bobcat Gamer. 
Have a good night.